Hello everyone, my name is Najumo and welcome to another review session probably sponsored by NS Might Community. Guys, today the book we will be reviewing today is Lacrimos, written by Boachi D Alpha and also called Let Alpha Write. And he is the author of Anaya, he is the author of Ubuntu, and now he is the author of Lacrimos. And yes, Lacrimos is in hard copy now and I have my copy as you can see it's such a beautiful and interesting poetry anthology so this is the book we'll be reviewing today so Lacrimos is a, a poetry collection that appeals to the readers in the nation using vivid and intricate images that leaves the reader in thought after every read however the themes explored are the ones the reader will find themselves relating with and identifying themselves with. Discover the riches of images in each poem along the way. So this is the level. And it is so true. It is very, very true because Lacrimos is a very beautiful poetry anthology that relates to everybody. It doesn't matter if you're a writer. It doesn't matter if you are a teacher, it's a poetry collection that everybody can relate to. And it has beautiful themes, beautiful themes, beautiful titles, and it has beautiful images. And um, one of my favorite images, one of my favorite images in the book is the writer's prayer. So the writer's prayer, the image, Yes, the, the writer's prayer. And the writer's prayer, this poem is actually talking about writers when there are moments that we tend to write some things and we tend to not have anything to write. We tend to get blank. So what we do is that we just, uh, just try to let it go. Try to relax. What, the, what this poem is trying to tell us as writers, anytime you pick your pen to write or to scribble something and it's not coming, don't give up. Just relax, calm down, just put it down and take it the next day. You are going to write it to your satisfaction. Another favorite poem of mine, and I'll read an essay to you. It's called The Dandelion. It says, a lonely wanderer I am, lost in this dark, lost in this world of darkness. I search my soul down with uncried tears, my memories, a place I dread visiting. Slowly, I'm fading away, just like a dandelion, wicks away by the wind. The dandelion. Look at this beautiful illustration here. So, this poem is actually talking about a wanderer. There are times we tend to feel lonely. There are times we, we, we are so lost in this world that we allow ourselves into darkness. There are times that we have unshared tears. There are times that what we are going through is so much that sometimes we wish that we are like a dandelion that can be wicked away by the wind. Such a beautiful point. Such a beautiful point. One of my favorite also is I Am Broken and it's the first poem in the book, I Am Broken. I Am Broken is very, very amazing. I Am Broken is a poem that really spoke out to me, especially because in this world, most of us are broken. Look at the illustration. I Am Broken is talking about uh, how there are times that we don't know what to do. We are confused. We are sad. And I read an excerpt. My favorite part is the last answer. It says, let go of the B R and the E N and tell yourself, I am okay. So although you are broken, let go of the B R, the E N and tell yourself that you are okay. And tell yourself that everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be well. Everything is going to be well. This is so amazing. Another 
favorite of my of, of this the poem is a music of your own. The music of you. I want you guys to know how I'm very excited reviewing this book because it's so amazing. A music of your own is talking about trying to find your own path, trying to create your own dance to your own music. Um, it, this poem talks about not actually following in the footsteps of others, but rather try to create your own. Try to do something for yourself. The last stanza speaks out to me. It says that find yourself, be true to yourself, and let not the views of others bring you down. Just dance to the tune of your own music. So if you are on the right path, um, discouragements can come, people can look down on you, but no, don't let it bring you down. Rather, continue persevere and it is going to be well it's going to be well. this poem has um 15 poems it has 15 points this book has 15 points and it's so amazing so what i've read to you is one of my favorite it's one of my favorites they are my favorite in the book so far all the poems are beautiful but it is my favorite so guys why don't you get this book? Lacrimos is in Ghana. So if you're in Ghana, you can get this book to read. And if you're not in Ghana, you can't get the hard copy, you can get it on Pablo. It's on Pablo. Yes, you can get it on Pablo to read. And also, have a feel of what I'm saying. And as I leave, I leave you with one thing he always says. His quote. He says that, Always remember, always remember that you were made for greatness. So my dear people or my dear viewers, always remember that you were made for greatness. My name is Najo Mo and see you next time with another video review.